Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to my another webinar series. And in this webinar series, we are going to talk about developing microservice, microservice orchestration, and uh, automating the business process workflow using BPM and tools. So a lot of new things I'm going to add in this playlist, which is directly related to the microservice development and how can we orchestrate different microservices in the production environment and then another tool which uh, i will talk about is a bpm and tool which is used to automate the, the the business workflow through microservices or through simple services okay so in this particular video we are going to talk about little bit about docker docker compose then we will talk about how we are building the microservices with the help of docker or i mean there are different tools docker we use on the local to just create the containers and uh, create the simple uh, local orchestration for running the application where you have a different containers you need a mysql mongodb redis or you have a node.js services running right so you will create a local orchestration with the help of docker compose where all these uh, different containers will be talking to each other so here first of all we'll try to understand what is microservice orchestration microservices are like a small scalable uh, unit of services which can be independently deployable and can be scaled okay so think about your microservice like a musical instrument each one excels at a certain purpose but it takes some arrangement arrangement timing and detailed coordination it's like it's a combined job right each particular service need to be timed, need to be arranged, need to be coordinated, need to be communicated properly so that the whole application can work powerfully, can work accordingly, right? So to manage all these different services together, to couple all these things together in the maintainable and scalable way, we have to use, we have to add on the microservice orchestration tools microservice on local we are fine we are writing docker compose writing different containers inside services we are spinning up the containers but what about production what what happens if the container dies what happens if i wanted to scale a container okay what how can i check the health of independent container so how to manage these containers that comes with orchestration so we should be able to orchestrate we should be able to design the containers in such a way that we should be able to achieve our objective of a production app where containers are talking to each other you can scale up scale down you can manage you can you can you should be able to like containers die containers also die due to some issues right you should be able to spin up another container so scalability rules policies you should be able to write okay so there are many orchestration tools are available which are helping your container to stay longer okay to achieve zero time down downtime for your production application okay before we move into the orchestration tools first let's like basic what is docker and all like you should be already having docker installed on your system and you can see all the containers which are running on your system and how what is a docker file if i just show you simple docker file it is just having some basic instructions about how to create this particular node.js container so in my orchestration i will be having many containers node.js python or spring boot java all these containers are doing a different services uh, one will be do doing a logging of the services one will be responding the http request another will be sending an event to event bus or some or any other service right and if you just see the docker compose here i should be having a uh, different services right here i have a node one service then i have some services and then finally i have my sql service so for local environment docker compose is doing its job and we are able to spin up the multiple node containers with the mysql and maybe you can add on some other services which we need right but what about production how we are going to manage the containers if a one particular container dies how we can scale all these things come into a picture with orchestration tools okay so these containers are like a small vms right small version of a linux system where we are running our application maybe node.js python and all right so 
when uh, while microservice containers offers you the application potential which increase in both functionality and productivity they also have moving more moving parts like configuration you have to do coordination and orchestrate and you will be doing automation once you are doing a deployment okay this containers gets down gets comes up once the deployment is done so you see this everywhere we see the containers and the docker is everywhere right so as container adoption has exploded so the adoption of container orchestration tools orchestration orchestration tools talks to the host operating system to manage how multiple containers are created upgraded and how to make them available the rich functionality simple tool and powerful apis make the orchestration tool set uh, for ci and cd workflows right so your these orchestration tools are talking to your host operating system and making the environment for the docker container so that they can be scaled they can be upgraded they can be created all these things they should be able to manage with the containers okay what are the benefits if you just see what are the benefits of orchestration tools so no matter how you deploy your containers uh, like either on the the vms you have the containers like ec2 instance you have an on top of that you have a containers and then you have some kind of a cluster there are many ways of deploying the container uh, on your infra level okay so adding containers adding orchestration to your architecture helps to navigate many moving parts shows you when to start and uh, start the right containers enable containers to talk to each other ensure high availability of your infrastructure okay so all these things happens because you are using the orchestration tools which decides when to start what right and it enables the containers to talk to each other which we are doing with the local docker compose file you are we are creating a single uh, network and your containers are able to talk to each other so like if i just do a docker compose up I should be able to create a three node containers and one MySQL, and they can talk to each other. Okay, so they are able to, they are helping us to navigate to different moving parts, uh, spin up the right containers at the right time, enables containers to talk to each other. That is important thing. And now, if you talk about what are the leading microservice orchestration tools, Kubernetes. Okay, you might have heard about the Kubernetes. This is KTS tools, and I actually provided. Some basic tutorials about KTS on this uh, GitHub, which is talking about uh, different components of a Kubernetes architecture, like master node, sleeve node, and uh, here we have Kube Proxy, Kubelet API server. Okay, all the build, building blocks. We where there is a master node and the worker node. Worker node is having Kubelet, Kube Proxy. Using Kubelet, all the master nodes are talking to the sleeves. Okay, this is how we. The internal structure of a Kubernetes cluster, where we have master, master is having um, the e it's etcd database, which is actually managing all the configurations settings for your cluster. We'll not go into the deep, uh, but if you want to explore more about Kubernetes, you can just clone this repository and you can just run the basic simple how to create a simple pod and how to create a deployment. How to deploy a pod okay coming back to our original thing is all the what all different orchestration tools we have so kubernetes is the first one created by google google, google sorry kubernetes tends to be the default solution of automating application deployment scaling and management it is open source and providing the key features out of the box google make it open source uh, and now it is available in the open source world Similarly, the AKS, okay, as per the name, AKS is managed uh, Kubernetes container. So these are like managed services provided by Azure, GCP, or AWS. Okay, Kubernetes is a tool, orchestration tools. Now, this tool is being provided as a managed services through these different uh, cloud providers. Okay, then we have Mesos. Mesos is Apache Mesos, allows developers to run both containerized and non-containerized workload in distributed manner it perhaps best known for its ability to su support diverse type of workload including the big data and cloud native apps okay unlike kubernetes which is a pod of uh, pod orchestration 
uh, which is not available yet. Okay, ECS. Amazon Elastic Container Service is largely a container orchestration service that enables you to scale the containerized application. So AWS has this ECS component where you can create containers, deploy containers onto the EC2 instance or uh, AWS Fargate. Okay, it frees developers from running app uh, on AWS from having to install to operate. I mean, if you talk about AWS CCS, you just create the containers and you deploy the applications. All the managing the containers lifecycle, how to spin up, how to scale, all is managed by ECS. Okay, now we have Conductor. Conductor is a service created by Netflix to orchestrate their microservices based on the flow in the cloud. So they have a particular flow that, okay, this particular event happens, then this particular service gets triggered or executed. So Conductor is also a service uh, created by Netflix to orchestrate that microservices. So these are some set of orchestration tools. Some are provided by these vendors like AWS, Azure and Google Cloud providers. They are providing the managed services for Kubernetes. So if you want to deploy your application on Kubernetes, why you want to set up the whole Kubernetes cluster on your infra provided by AWS. You can use some services which are already there like Azure cluster, AKS, Azure Kubernetes cluster. So you will be just using this drag and drop and just feeding some information and, and it will just give you the cluster. Now you can create the containers and you can just create the deployments, create the ports inside. Okay, so this video is just talking about uh, basic orchestration tools which we have currently. So Kubernetes is most popular obviously. Uh, either you use AKS, EKS or ECS but currently this uh, Kubernetes is popular either on the AWS platform or Azure platform. Most of the production applications which are containerized are being orchestrated in production through the Kubernetes. So maybe in future tutorials I will be talking about Kubernetes, how to create pods, deployments and how it is different from our Docker Compose. Docker Compose we are using for local to spin up the containers and let allow containers to talk to each other. So that our application can run locally okay thanks everyone